Welcome to Speed Scene Live TV, the only show dedicated to the sportsman racer. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, m and Tires, and TheFoat.com. With your hosts, Diana Mike, Bruce Barker, and Scott Lucky Hudson. Oh yeah, and it's another Tuesday night. You're back live with Diana Mite on Speed Scene Live. Welcome. We've got Scott Lucky Hudson here to my left. We've got Bruce Barker back there. He's the wait. I gotta look like I'm doing something. The button over here. There. Did that look official? The control master, and we've got a action-packed night for you guys. So hold on. First drive. Yep. Here we go. What are we going to have? We're going to have tonight Brett Wagner, the host of Pastime TV Show, in studio. Man, let's listen to a little bit of that magic he makes. Two Mustang. Got a stock bottom man, 302 with 146,000 miles. And I eat cam. That's about it. Okay, Flop, what do you need to know? What size tires that you got on the back there? Nice, nice. Yeah. Brett's going to be talking about, well, supporting the show. Also, Larry Huff, Pure Hell, Altered, now in charge of the new track being built in Lake Havasu. Uh, he's going to be talking to us and giving us the straight facts about the track. Hey, you just rhymed that. How's that work? Straight facts on the track. Also, Super Comp Racer sponsored by the U.S. Army. Wait till you see these photos, and we'll be talking to the guy, too. Involved with a great contest. He's going to tell us all about that tonight. Also, Brian Layton not on the show tonight with the PRP Seats Off-Road Show. Uh, the off-road segment, of course, in the show. And I should give PRP some props here because it's not just seats, but also belts as well. Anyway, uh, that'll be back next week. Hot Rod Bob Beck, though, is in studio, and he's going to share uh, some, uh, you know, that gas stuff. Yeah, you know, plenty of that stuff. <laughs> all right. Now, the uh, NMCA West will come into Pomona next month, and uh, that's going to be in August. And come on down and see racing like this. In fact, Bruce, let's bring the audio up and let's hear this car make a big burnout and watch this baby launch because... This is his moment, man. This is the chance when that sportsman racer he gets to come up. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little purge. You know, I still think they ought to run that purge line to the driver and at least make him happy. <laughs> it's a waste going out there. There we go. Oh, Lado smoke and party. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh, that hello. Wait a minute. That's actual pain in Brett Wagner's oh, face right there. How did you? I oh. forgot about that. Oh, man. <laughs> well, hey, we might as well introduce uh, Brett. Brett, you are the star of this show. But before we do, uh, we mentioned NMCA West at Pomona and yep. Bob. You know, coming up in August 24th through the 26th, it's Nostalgia Racing at its best up at Bakersfield with ENRA. American National Nostalgia Racing Association comes back to the patch, and they'll be racing for three big days up at Bakersfield. And that's Bakersfield what? That's Fomoso Raceway. <laughs> that's the Auto Club Fomoso Raceway. Auto Club, that's we want to give that. props I, to we, the Auto Club, we, don't we? We got to. They pay my bills. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> well, uh, let's welcome uh, Diana. Might bring Brad onto the show now, will you please? Hey, big boy. Welcome to Speed Scene Live. Everyone, Brett Wagner. Dang! Oh, boy. I'm glad my fiance's not listening right now. She <laughs> might be a little angry. No, we do have How are you? How are you guys? Hey, it's great to have you back. And we showed a little clip of you doing uh, you do what you do on the Pastime Show. And I'm going to go on record as saying Pastime is my favorite show. Why? Well, I could say it's you, and that'd be a little bit of ass kissing. But that no, really, no. the truth is, really? it's because <laughs> sportsmen racers like us, we get to be on TV. It's the only show where you bring us up, you introduce us, and you say nice things about us. And well, and most of us don't crash like that red. Uh, no, so. we've only had. I think we've had. Uh I think we've had four crashes in 160 episodes. That's not bad. No. Five years, and no one's ever been really not hurt. Bad at uh, all. Yeah, that's not I bad at all. I can't think of our big guy, one of the uh, the big racer who crashed on our show. Uh, holds a bunch of records <laughs> for hey, for crashing. It, whether, uh, yeah. whether, you're, whether you're on TV or just on uh, at the track, hey, if your car's getting squirrely. Get out of it. You know, Lift, live baby. to race another day. I right? like those guys that got the, the <laughs> stick shifts, though. That's yeah. kind of, you know, oh, a guy yeah. like that, then uh -huh. he, you know, and there's something happens when you got a camera on you. 
I mean, you guys know. You, yeah. We'll uh, talk about the lost episode you guys are on. <laughs> but, you, you know, when you got a camera on you, there's something about you're not going to lift. There's no way. you got to run it out. You, you know, you only out. get that one chance, and you don't want to have that one chance have them go, oh, look at the guy lifted. Yeah. What nope. a big baby. But we just want to clarify yes. the lost episode. Yes. Was it lost because of us? No. You were on an episode. Let's right. talk about it. You guys yeah. were on an episode. Mm -hmm. Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. You both came down. We did the combo round with right. you. Right. Which, oh, which was, was awesome. Oh, right. It was great. Uh -huh. great. Had a blast. You guys really treated us well, by the way. Thank I mean, you. <laughs> really, you know, you mentioned about the Speed Scene Live show. Yep. You plugged the website. Sure. Uh -huh. I was like, wow, man, this is so great, man. I, I, I we actually. We were so get, excited. Yeah, we're, we're, we're so honored to be on the show. And then. And I don't know what happened. You guys know more than I do. Oh, what happened? There was a yeah. cheater. There was a cheater. Yeah. There was a cheater amongst the three. Yeah. yeah. So up on the yes. stand. It wasn't Ken. There was. It wasn't Ken. And we won't say what her name was. Yes. Ooh, it, it, but, and it wasn't the other guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's oh. unfortunate, you know. Every once in a while, we, we kind of, you know, they say sequester. If you go to, yes. uh, if you're uh, at a, going to jury, they got to keep mm -hmm. you away from everybody. They sequester. Well, early on in our in our shows, I believe that was it wasn't very early on, but that was mm -hmm. in Las Vegas, and I think that young lady who was on the show was walking through the pits earlier and was asking everybody their times they they run in the well. well I you even know, heard more than that. What really? I heard she was she slept with the drivers. Her, no. her oh. dad, <laughs> her dad was walking around uh, and texting her. Oh, info because yeah. like when oh. we would go up, she would ask these crazy questions. You know, you always got to think. Okay, they're gonna say uh, any power adders. Uh, what yeah, kind of yeah, horsepower? Yeah, yeah. And I walk up, and she goes, "Briefs or boxers." Uh, and I'm like, oh, yeah. what? Uh, yeah, she was trying to be funny. It's and like, what did she ask me? You know, where'd you get the name Diana Mite? I'm like, oh, let me punch this bit. The yeah. girl. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we're not going to say that yeah. her name yeah. was Stephanie. We're not going to no. mention that at all. No. No. And we're not going to mention the fact that she was a sport compact driver who oh. tried to transition into pro stock and funny car. Mm -hmm. We're not going to mention any of that okay. stuff yeah. because no we one, don't want people to know. No one know. texted her how to put the seatbelts on. Huh? Well, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, you know uh, yeah. but um, but yeah, you know, it's still a good show. We've done it five years. Oh, it's a great show. Sixty episodes. We uh, love the show. We shot, I think, our you know um, hundredth. Hundred. You were at the hundredth yeah, episode we in, in Las Vegas, but we've shot one hundred and sixty episodes. Um, now around the, that, and now there's a website. The reason we we've kind of brought you on and we we brought this guy with his crash red Mustang <laughs> Poor is guy. we want to oh, let man. people know that hey, right now. We could use your help. We'd really love to have you send a quick message to the people at Speed Channel. Absolutely. There's actually a feedback form that you can go on, and it's and really how do, easy. how do you get there, Lucky? Well, Bruce is going to put up the website in a second. Oh, but thanks, Bruce. You, here's you know, the page. Anytime, anytime. And you go to uh, Speed Channel slash feedback. Yeah, and that'll be Speed TV slash oh, feedback. Good thing I asked the smart guy here. Ah, and uh, something all, I heard. You, all you got to do is put your name. Bruce. And you put your, your email, and then there's a – scroll down a little bit, Bruce. There's a little square box there that you can write in. Comments. Yeah, okay. and you uh -huh. can put stuff like, we want more pastime. Please make more pastime. Bring pastime back. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we haven't gone new episodes yeah, this year yeah. so and it's you know and it's always nice for the networks to know be i travel a lot you guys travel mm -hmm. a lot being we're the only drag racing show on speed channel right yeah. now that's that's uh you yeah. know that's that's still shooting mm -hmm. uh, you know hopefully uh so uh <laughs> and there's the uh, so get on there you know i mean you want to see drag racing and i love doing the show and it's like i said it's the there he goes right there bam right there. look at that magic how'd you do that yeah so uh but <laughs> But besides that, you know, there's a lot of guys still working on shows. You know, I, I'm in touch with Stephen Pullen a lot. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Stephen and me keep in touch, and we try to create some stuff together. And, right. You know, if... Uh, it's like, come on, share the wealth, baby. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah you on. know, I have a really good relationship with Steve, too. You I do. call him all the time, yeah. and and uh, he screens my calls. <laughs> and uh, I, don't, well, I, don't get a, I don't get picked up on the first call. I don't get picked up on the first his call. His receptionist either. has told me that uh, he's no longer available. <laughs> and... Uh, um, you know, it's it's pretty good. It's good. I well, maybe it. I should try giving him a call. Uh, yeah, you think I think I'll you take would answer. Call? <laughs> but you know, somebody that is is out there racing right now. It, I don't know if he's been on pastime or not, but a gentleman by the name of Don O'Neill, and he's got a big contest right now. And uh, Dynamite, let's bring him on the show and let him tell us a little bit about it. Well, let's go to line one and welcome Don O'Neill. Don, welcome to Speed Scene Live. 
Hey, how's it going, guys? How y'all doing out there? We hey. are doing great, Don. Now, you're on the show with Hot Rod Bob, Dynamite Bruce, and the big swag, Brett Wagner, star of not just Pastime, but hundreds and hundreds of TV shows and films and oh. uh you know, uh, he's here because he loves drag racing. Yep. He's a true drag racer. Well, and, and I will tell you that there, Brett, just uh, out there for everyone, I just sent a text while I was listening to you guys talk uh, to a couple of buddies of mine. So they go on there. They're talking about they need a little bit of support for their program to keep bringing it back. So uh, hopefully we can fill up that feedback inbox for uh, Speed TV, and then uh, that will go a long way with the marketing partners. Oh, man, I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. No problem at all. We all got to stick together in this small motorsports world. Absolutely. Now, Don, uh, 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 SFC, is that Sergeant First Class? That is. That is Sergeant First Class. Well, uh, first off, we want to say we're huge fans of the military. I grew up in a military family, and all of America owes everybody in the military a huge debt of gratitude. So thank you very much for uh, your service. But tell us a little bit about the contest you've got going on right now. Well, thank you very much for your comments. Uh, What we're doing is we're trying to do a little something different for the race fans or the average everyday consumer through social media, through Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. And and basically the the concept is, is just make a video, take a picture, do something that will make you that social media star for a free pair of weekend tickets to a few select NHRA events uh, for the Nationals. And the companies have gotten together because it is social media, and, and a lot of motorsports guys or car guys, you know, the older generation, I'm not saying that I'm an old guy, but, you know, I've, I've got a couple of kids that had to grasp the social media world, being in the military and recruiting. And it's, it's the wave of the future, the way people communicate, do product reviews, find out what they're going to buy, the impact or impulse purchasing habits. And so we're, we're just developing a program to, to get people involved and to win free tickets. And uh, the big the big grand prize at the end of the year is the individuals that get the most likes or shares or hits on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, they're going to win a, uh, not all expenses paid, but they're going to win hotel accommodation and weekend race tickets to the Las Vegas race in the fall. Oh, good. So wow. That's, you know, I'm, I'm an Army guy. Uh, I don't have the income to be able to foot airfare, but I'm definitely going to take care of hotel accommodations and race tickets for the weekend in Vegas. That's a big deal because those tickets are pretty pricey. And, uh, you know, are you going to be at that event? Right now, we are currently scheduled to be out in Vegas in the fall. That We've been the last couple of years. Vegas hasn't been too nice to me, not only on the Strip, but at the Strip. Uh, so hopefully we can turn that around this year. Well, that would be great. The winners could come down and visit you in your pits and cheer you on and hopefully watch you win a Wally out there. That would be awesome. I am This this elusive Wally that I've been chasing for so long, <laughs> if I ever catch him, I feel like I'm playing Where's Waldo at times. <laughs> Where's uh, Wally? We saw well, Waldo today, come to think of it. Didn't yeah. we, Lucky? <laughs> we did. <laughs> Lucky, you know as well as anybody, it's a competitive world being in the sportsman class ranks. Uh, you just you, you can go out, you can buy the equipment, you can get the education, you can get the training, uh, and it just it's very tight racing. And and all you can do is uh, keep getting back on the horse and rolling into the next racetrack and hope that you can turn on a win light. That's right, and uh, you know I haven't won one of those Wallies yet either, so I'm still chasing that little bugger. Yeah, I, I'm trying to do it, and without people like, you know, K&N and Lucas and, and Simpson and Harlan Sharp getting involved with doing this uh, contest to be able to give these tickets away and them to be able to help keep my bill state to be able to afford to go out here and do this traveling around the country. Uh, I just can't say enough about them. And, and they, they, you know, racers don't get the credit. You were saying that to, to Brett, that a lot of sportsman racers, we don't get the opportunity to stand out and create a brand image for ourselves and our sponsors and marketing partners. And we have to do the little extra things that are outside the box to keep to keep the phones ringing or not get the call screen so somebody will actually pick up the phone <laughs> when you call. Uh, and we have to do something different. And hopefully uh, we're, we're on a little little edge here of being able to provide that to marketing partners and the fans as well. Well, that's one thing that I love about the Pastime Show is when you get on there, you know, Brett will take the time 
and hey, what's going on? Tell us about your car. You know, they don't just rush you up and stick you in a car and say, okay, go, because we got the next one. He'll give you a chance to talk, and then while you're getting in and you're getting strapped in, he'll say nice things about your ride and your car. And, you know, they really treat you kind of like a pro level driver. And that's kind of nice because there's so many other outlets out there where they say, okay, you've got 10 seconds. Now go. Hmm. <laughs> well, and that's absolutely true. And, and every sportsman guy is looking for their. Three or four minutes of fame, and we all hope that it's at the end of a racetrack at a national event, hoisting a wally or standing on the stage and in Pomona hoisting the, the world championship trophy. And, and not only that, but every bracket racer is out there looking for their local track championship or a bracket racing big payday check. We all want to hold something that says on that given day or during that given year that we were, we were the best that showed up and it, to get the payback for all the, the hard work that everybody's families and sponsors and drivers and competitors go through to be able to do it. So uh, I, I totally agree with it. You keep giving them the plugs, Brett. Keep giving them the plugs. You got it, buddy. Now, uh, Don, uh, how, get, tell us again where they go to post those uh, videos. What everybody will start out doing is everything is based off of our Facebook fan page, Don O'Neill Racing. Uh, you can also go to the DonOneillRacing.com website. The rules, the event deadlines will always be posted. The flyers are there, and then as well as the Twitter uh, Twitter accounts to be able to follow up on. And at, we're always adding prizes, giveaway bags. We, you know, we're talking about maybe possibly giving away some barrels of fuel from VP and Mickey Thompson tires. They're always involved with this, so. You never know exactly when and where we're going to do something, and I think that's the biggest thing is, is to keep it completely viral out there in the social media world. So if everybody just follows at the Facebook fan page, Don O'Neill Racing, uh, and, and the website page of Don, uh, Don O'Neill, then they'll always stay informed with what we're doing. Perfect, perfect. Well, Don, thanks so much for calling in, and uh, do me a favor. When you get a little closer to that Vegas trip, uh, give us a call. Let us know what's going on with the contest. Maybe let us know who the winner is, and uh, th- let us people know that you're going to be out there racing. Absolutely, I greatly appreciate you guys having me on the show and allowing me to uh, get my two minutes of fame, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> always, always, and uh, thanks so much for everything that you do in the armed services. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great week. Thanks. Bye-bye, Don. Let's, Bruce, Bye. let's take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to talk to Brett some more. Meanwhile, we're, while we're at commercial, why don't you go over to that uh, speedtv.com slash feedback and send a few comments in. You know, it wouldn't hurt if they were just buried under a mountain of <laughs> more yeah. pastime. That's right. Yeah. And, and we know speed scene works. We got that off-road bill passed. That's right. That's right. So do that, and then come right back here, and the commercials will be over. Wagner, your host of Pastime, SpeedSceneRacing.com. Speed Scene Live, are you kidding me? For over half a century, Curry rear-end components have been twisting out the torque and taking the punishment. And the new Curry lineup is stronger than ever. Some of the world's most capable, hardest-working vehicles depend on Curry gears, which is why you can too. Street cars, hot rods and resto rods, drag cars, rock-crawling four-wheel drive vehicles, whatever you're piloting, Curry expertise and rock-solid design means the parts will do their job, so you can do yours. Check out Curry's custom rear ends, featuring a full line of upgrades, components, and installations options. The Curry Crate Rear Ends lineup offers ultra-strong construction on third members and carrier assemblies. And other underside parts, like correct link steering systems, keep your four-wheeler pointed where you want it. Add in a wide variety of solid, purpose-built suspension and brake components, and you've got one tough, ready-to-go machine. Grab a hold of a Curry Rear End. Talk to the experts at 714-367-2679 or view the complete line online at curryenterprises.com. Welcome back to Speed Scene Live TV with your hosts, Diana Mike, Bruce Barker, Scott Lucky Hudson, The Off-Road Report with Bryant Layton, and The Great American Auto Scene with Bob Beck. Ooh, 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 how's that for a lineup? 
Hey, welcome back to the show. I'm Bruce Barker. There's Diana Mike. Welcome. There's Lucky Hudson. There is Hot Rod Bob in for the gas report, and there's Brett Wagner from Pastime. <laughs> Having a stroke, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to look at the camera, so I just, you know. Yeah. No, no. Now, <laughs> it's now, here in the headlights. Now, Brett, we're talking about Pastime, and we're encouraging people to go to the sure. uh, website and sign up. But yeah. in addition to that, you've got so much stuff you've done, so many TV shows, movies. Where are you going to be next? What's your next, uh, Wow. Uh, you know. Well, I'm working Sturgis. But I've never worked. Uh, you know, I do a lot of... I'm a biker, so I you know that we mm-hmm. both ride. We've yeah. ridden together a couple of times, and uh, I'm so you're finally, working at what are you working? I'm what are you doing? MCing. It used to be Easy Riders Saloon, but mm-hmm. there was an issue, so oh. now they're Sturgis Saloon Company. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, good guys. I mean, yeah. they own. Uh, they're very smart businessmen. They got a hold of me and said, "We need an MC. We're trying to." I said, "I'll yeah, great." And then I'm like, "How many days is that?" And they're like, 10 I'm like. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna yeah. be a, that's gonna be really yeah. fun for five of those ten days. <laughs> yeah, no, I, and that's what I you know, but it, it is you know, it's my business. When we're not filming, I got to make money, and um, um, you know, I do a lot of bike rallies and during the year, and I've never worked the big one, and this is the big one. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Um, they also bought, uh, I think, Broken Spoke Saloon, which is a famous uh, other that, bar down there. That's a big one. Big one. Yeah. So yeah. they bought that. They bought him out. And uh, so I think they changed the name of that to Sicky's Garage. <laughs> Not to, There's a company called Sick Boy Motorcycles and Clothing, I think, that they're uh, partnering up with. So I'm going to probably be running back and forth to both <sighs> venues for 10 days. But... You know what? It's my business, so we got to do it. You know, it's hey, yeah. I'm lucky enough that someone remembers me enough that they're going to pay me uh, some bucks to get what, up on stage. What a fun way to pay the bills! It is, I but mean, it's ten. I mean, I wish I had a film crew because this is like one of those things. I mean, you you've lost your voice before. You guys, oh, sure. you've lost your voice. Now imagine, <laughs> you know, if you lost you your voice talking. two days or three days. <laughs> 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 so uh, it's a lot of tea and a lot of honey. But besides yeah, yeah. that, you know, I'm I'm working. I got some meetings with Original Productions, which is the big reality. TV TV company. I used to work for them uh, when we did Monster Garage years back, and they do uh, Deadliest Catch, Storage Wars, oh, Ice yeah, Road yeah, Truckers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They do everything. Anything that's good on TV that's reality, they are usually behind it. So we got some shows. They like some of my ideas, and I used to work for them you know, for a long time, so it'd be nice to get back in that family. And I wrote a good horror movie, horror movie. Mm. Yeah, keep, keep clear on yeah, yeah. that. Yes, mm-hmm. spelling is different. Yeah. <laughs> Called Kill Billy, which... Uh, <laughs> Kill Billy. Kill, Kill Billy. Billy. We got some interest in it right now, and I just got to, you got to, you got to jump while it's hot, and um, I got some roles for uh, all of you in here. You do? Nice. Yeah. I can just what, what's yeah. my, what's my role? Uh, you die terribly. Oh, yeah. my goodness. But sexy. You, you get but, part of the kill sexy. part. But sexy. Yeah. Oh, Listen, okay. you know, people, they don't, when you die on camera, uh-huh. they remember you. Do they? Yeah. Whether it's okay. real or in uh, yeah. the movies, that they remember you. Now, you've done a lot of films where you do, like, the big uh, makeup process yes. where they, they spend hours and they transform you. Into a monster. And, and mm-hmm. I don't know why, but you just seem to be a natural at that for some yeah, reason. I don't know and I is. mean that as a compliment. <coughs> You're a good man. You're uh. a good man. Uh, um, I like doing it. As you get older, it's, um, I don't know, I like it. There's a famous guy named Doug Jones who's... Uh, was in Hellboy. He's been in. Uh, he's been in so much stuff, and he's one of those guys that goes under the makeup. You can look up Doug IMDb Doug Jones or Google. Like his his list of credits are. Killing I just read him. a he's great been in everything. Great but, story about him uh, with a, a kid that you know Make a Wish Foundation. Now that is now that's Ron Perlman. Oh, who Ron was Perlman. Hellboy. You're right. He was You're Hellboy. Right. Um, Doug Jones was the fish, Dr. Um, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So Doug Jones is one of those guys that you know he's made a living made a living going under makeup and a big good living i make a tiny mm-hmm. little living he makes a good living but what a nice guy and uh yeah i, is that I love that <laughs> I, I love that hellboy show you yeah know? hellboy was great it it just was. a great sense of humor and, sure. and sarcastic and yeah, uh, ron perlman on sons of anarchy now mm-hmm. so that's how he makes a living yeah, he was he was on beauty and the beast sure beauty, that's how he got yeah. started which one that. was he oh never mind uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah but who was oh, the beauty yeah. remember linda hamilton was yeah, the, oh, yeah. yeah. There there you go. Go. hey speaking of tv shows brett I yes, could sir. be totally wrong about this. I should have checked this beforehand. Have you been on an episode of uh, Touch, the Kiefer Sutherland show? I was on an episode of That's Touch, yes. I thought that was you. Security guard. All right, security <laughs> guard. You check some girl into like a that's rave party right. or something. Yeah, what was, do you yeah. know, man? I was yeah. going, dude, that's Thank you. No, it's good. <laughs> if you look at the list, it's, it's incredible because, you know, like I remember one time looking at all this stuff and I'm like, 
two and a half men. Oh my goodness! Really? You know, I mean, all these weird shows that you you go, man. You I, watch I, all the time. I, and I can't you, believe yeah. you're on so much stuff. Well, you, you know, you you get four or five lines. Let's not say that I'm. You know, I have guest starred on a few shows where mm-hmm. you're the main guest star. But you know, I mean, I'm a, I'm a character actor. So until somebody decides they wow i really like that guy and they say you're the guy you're going to be you know uh, the next lead you're going to be the next yeah. lead yeah. the and next just, charlie sheen you know sons of anarchy <laughs> <Yeah>. hope not <laughs> hey i'll take charlie's money for sure <laughs> yeah. 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 indeed you know what's funny is that guy's going to outlive us all and we're all going to be and we're going to be oh, yeah. and yeah, when indeed. we go up to the pearly gates that's going to be my question why yeah. <laughs> why charlie and not me cuz i i could have done all that wild stuff as well yeah. i just i stopped doing it at a certain age and if i would have known i could keep doing it maybe a, <laughs> well that shows more of a biography of his life wasn't oh it? my my word but now he's got a new hot show yeah. anger management it's it, like it's huge funny huge on the rating so some people can and he's giving one percent of all the proceeds to the uso he's giving a million bucks to the uso oh, yeah cool. plus, so, yeah. plus one percent of of his profits from that anger management as now well. we're uh, talking about charlie sheen and we're talking about hard riding you know party guys and i think this is our time to segue into hot rod bob because oh, hot rod okay. bob is the drag racing <clears throat> version of Charlie Sheen? Wow! <laughs> and uh, yeah, or the nitro. car show version? Yeah, it's car show. Yeah, car that's show, it. I, I hit all the car shows, regardless of where they're at. And this time it was at Irwindale Speedway. And again, I'm Bob Beck, and you've got gas again this Tuesday night here on Speed Scene Live. We were at. Irwindale for the Hot VW's Drag Days Swap Meet Show and Shine, and it was cool. It's been a long time since I've been able to go out to a Volkswagen event, and I'll tell you what, the cars, the quality of the cars, and I didn't go look at the drag race stuff too much, but the car show cars. Now, this one, this one was for sale, and it sold for less than 6800 bucks. Really? It's a driver. Get in, turn the key, go. It needed nothing. Dang, it's down that? low. It was bagged. Wow. I've never seen a Volkswagen with airbags. This one had airbags <laughs> in it. This hey, one is what? that is a rare piece, actually. George, George Barris special. That's right. George Barris got into the dune buggy craze for a while, and he did it in his inimitable, different way. And this was one of them that was there. This was, this was the only one that was there. It looks but like it, it's got brass hardware on the front. You know, it's got a whole bunch of different things. Is on that it. an ice chest on the back? It looks like it. Oh, that's it's great. a rolling ice chest. I'd roll on that. Yeah, yeah, you know, modified Lincoln grill. This was a cool Volkswagen. This was old school meets new school, and it was set up more like a, a current a, a current canyon racer. Uh-huh. It was beautiful. A lot of cars that were low down, mean and lean, and this one was just nice and simple and upgraded. How about it? Then you got the old school style, but this one looks old school from the outside only. It had Willwood disc brakes. Oh, nice. I mean, this guy did the safety stuff. He did everything right. It is an early oval window. It is a beautiful car, and lots of those. And those are my favorite, the glass-covered headlight cars, the six-volt cars, although a lot of them aren't six-volt anymore, but... They've got the narrow die beam. They're, they're dropped down. They've got the nice empty wheels for the BRMs. A lot of the guys running disc brakes. This one's got BRM wheels, a rag top. It, it's just beautiful. Cool. Oh, they're great. Our yeah. producer, Ray, would uh, be uh, turning over in his, if he was gone, he'd gone. be turning over in his grave right now. But he's still, because he loves the V-dubs. Uh, they're, they're great. Now, I had one I did back in the early days of my car stuff and uh, you know it was a, it was a mixture of this but this old school stuff was great and he was even towing a trailer wow. oh, how cute is that? and that was an aluminum bike inside the trailer oh look mm. at that it, it was just so cool it was like aluminum i-beam they had bent and shaped into the shape of a, a tricycle <laughs> and it, it was just neat Ooh, this one was that. d- nice slick. and clean and simple low down it's got all the accessory pieces on there, including the roof rack. And this was just typical of what you saw out there. This one being a 66. Well, I know V-dubs are making a big comeback. You can yeah. see them on the street. People are deciding to spend their money tinkering with something that's you know they can tinker with. And, yeah, and, and yeah. good gas mileage as well. Excellent so. gas mileage. And they're fa- you can make them as fast as you want to. That's right. Well, you know, power. I just bought a V-dub. Yeah. I did. I bought a 65 notchback. Well, you know, wow. there were a bunch of notchbacks there, there really? too. We're gonna are get they to coming that. up? They are mm-hmm. in a bit. This was a two-tone. There were a lot of two-tone bugs. This one just stood out in that bright yellow in the sunshine on Sunday at Irwindale. It just looked so neat. Everything you can imagine was tight. There wasn't anything on this that was untouched. Man. Now, I'm a, I'm a sucker for red cars, as you know, and yeah. this one was just perfect. The Porsche alloys sat just right, very clean on the inside, simple. The money was in the motor. 
and the wheels, tires, and suspension on this car. And you know, Bob, work. speaking of tires, I'm yeah. wondering what a lot of people do. This is a great example right yeah. here. Look at the rear tires. Anytime you lower a VW because of the way the rear end is structured, you're going to get that angle unless you do some serious fabrication. But that's on the early pan. If you go to the IRS chassis, 69 and liter, then they go back uh, straight up and down because you've got double jointed. This being a swing axle, when you lower it down, yeah, the camber's all off. Yeah, and I, I wonder, you see a lot of guys driving this way and women yeah. too, I wonder what the tire wear is like. It's got to be atrocious. Yeah, just flip them around, you know, every <laughs> every couple thousand miles, and they'll last about 10,000. <laughs> but you go around a corner real good. Yeah, I bet. So this guy, was I caught him as he was leaving. It was just, again, typical of the cars. This had BRM wheels set down nice, had the accessory uh, rock chip guards on it. Just a really nice and clean machine, and this was typical of what we saw out there. I loved this convertible. Got the five-spoke mags. It's simple gray, not red, not black, just a neat gray. It had a red interior that just stood out, and beautiful top. Had the, it sat really low. Man, a lot of uh, original Beetles here as opposed yeah. to the Super Beetle. Huh? Well, what they're doing is doing a lot of resto mods. Oh, where they really? use all, they get all the accessories, they get them nice and stock looking from the outside, but the mechanicals are all updated. The the days when I was building them, we used to cut off all the chrome trim. Yeah. And that was the cow look. That, that's gone. <laughs> They've gone back to the old, I mean, everyone's trying to find the trim, put all the trim on, make them look totally stock body wise this is another angle of that gray car and it was it had huge wheels i mean it's a combination yeah Yeah. it was was a combination of old school and new school yeah he was uh like 45 series uh radials on that thing Mm -hmm. small little uh, heart-shaped taillights this is the i was gonna this was gonna be the last picture i'm saying okay now this is the end folks but uh it i did all the bugs first and this was just one row now you got to figure the parking lot at irwindale was full of volkswagens now here's a Gia, and the Gias are really cool i mean that was a sports car basically from volkswagen that's interesting with a roof rack on top is that borrowed yeah. from a bug no, they actually had them, accessory roof racks for those things. Because, I mean, if you're going someplace, where do you put the luggage? Yeah, yeah, There's really. just no place. Although this did have a back seat, they called it a back seat. It was a padded partial shelf. <laughs> now, here's a nice one, and it's got the Porsche alloy, so that makes this a uh, about a 68 or later Gia. Now, here's hey, your yeah. notchback, lady. Notchback. That's yeah. what Diana has, Brad. Wow. Uh, similar yeah. to that. Very rare early mm-hmm. pieces. <laughs> This one was a nice, you know, an, again, not blue, not black, not red or yellow. Brown. This nice brown color. And the, the color photos don't do it justice. It was really a nice color. Now, are you going to race that, Diane? No, no. This is just a fun car to restore. Mine is actually red with a white top. Pretty. Mm-hmm. And here was a nice simple gray one. You had the Porsche-style mm-hmm. alloys sure. on it, lowered down just a little bit. Other than that, it was stock, except right. for the uh, Bob's Big Boy tray on the side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's another one sitting nice low. Ooh. Then there were the buses and oh, the pickups. Sure. This was set down low. I love the blue. This was one of the most gorgeous combi buses there, and it was beautiful. What do you call it, combi? Combi. And I don't know why they called them combi, mm-hmm. but that was the name of them, I believe. It's combination it, Volkswagen and bus. Yeah. It's it easy did, to figure it out. It didn't have the roof windows, mm-hmm. <laughs> but it did have the safari windows. They all popped out oh, and set geez, down low. Man. The reduction That's gear a little dull right there. When oh, you yeah. start getting into the, you're finding the ones with all the windows. Yeah. 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 One similar to this one sold to Barrett Jackson in Orange County last year for $190,000. What? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The guy figured he would get $40,000 and he'd be happy, and then it went to one ninety, and I go, oh. Now, that's God. slick right there. Yeah, and I nice see that's. Yeah. That's yes, my like stuff. That's thing. my yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. No windows, I can do what I want in the back if it's shaking, don't knock. Yeah, you can put a four fifty four, no one's gonna know. What would you be doing in the back, Bob? <laughs> Whatever I could. Making mar- martinis Why apparently. would it be shaking? Yeah. Oh I okay. would hope anyway. He's a martini mixer. Yeah, that's it too. Yeah. He's, he's got a, a, a videotape uh, of a, a, a I mean, Ru- Russell Simmons exercise video. That's yeah. what it's it Russell like Simmons, it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's fun. when I was a kid, we had a 59 yeah. Volkswagen bus, so it would have been similar to this in yeah. terms of functionality and stuff. And uh, one year, we were just driving across the country. My folks were teachers, so they, they would yeah. just, and so they, they took summers off, and we'd go places and whatever on a budget. You know, you'd go out camping in the Volkswagen. Anyway, engine blew in, in Idaho somewhere. Uh. He had to trade it in on a, on a 72 bus, and he still has it. Uh. Man, I wish we had that old one. Well, you know, the 72s are now getting popular, too, because these ones are so expensive, the later model ones are now coming. 
one in, and there you go. Yeah, that's exactly his, except his is red with a white top. Yeah, now this one was lowered down nice. Take the reduction gears off. That drops the back end down about four or five inches. Then you cut the front end, bring it down to. The only problem with lowering them that much is the inner fender wells just aren't made for that. Yeah. This was a nice stocker other than the white walls. This one was just lucky it came off the showroom floor. Now, Brett, do you ever do the Volkswagen thing? You ever own one of these little things? <laughs> you know, my best buddy growing up uh, had a couple of Volkswagens, so, you know, it, uh, they were cheaper on gas, and that was the yep. thing we'd go hang out on. You that's, know, that's where we'd go to the clubs, go to a concert, we'd go on the bug. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll put in five bucks, and it's enough gas to drive all weekend. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> at, at some point in time, that would fill the tanks up. Yeah, a little hatchback. Le- yeah, a little, little square back <laughs> Beetle Plus, or Volkswagen. Right. They were neat. The same chassis, same basic body style as yours. You throw a surfboard in there. That's it. Or on yeah. top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, the parking lot was just full of them. These are just some of the ones I picked. I pulled out over 150 photos Mm -hmm. and narrowed it down to these. These were just the premier cars that were there. And there were so many to choose from. It was just great. Now they had the show going on. They had a swap meet that was huge. Anything you wanted or needed for a Volkswagen, it was there. And then the drag racing going on as well. But I stayed away from the drag racing because you know how I am in drag racing. (laughs) So I, I... I had to stay away during uh, this. Now, Bob, tell us, how are you with drag racing? I love drag racing. You know that. (laughs) I can never stop talking about it. Do you always have to put your little two cents in? You bet. That's the problem. (laughs) (laughs) So I stayed out of the tower. Bruce, Bruce, let's take a quick commercial break. Give people a chance to go to uh, speedtv.com slash feedback. Fill it out. Come on back. We'll be right back in a minute. More with Hot Rod Bob, Diana, Mike, Bruce Barker. The star of the show, Brett Wagner. Oh, come on. I'm and not the star. The cars are. <laughs> to see, that's that attitude we like. There we go. Back in a minute. Hi, this is Joel Gruzin, and when I am not busy working on all of these items from the House of Mouse, what do I do? I watch Speed Scene, and you'd better do that too. MH Tires, makers of racing tires that give you the best bite for the buck. You paid a lot for that horsepower. Make sure you use it all. MH Tires has the best compounds available for maximum traction. Go to mandhtires.com. That's m a n d h tires.com. Buy direct and save at the website and mention the speed scene for a 5% discount. That's right, mnhtires.com. Call them at 661-324-4773. M&H Tires has tech guides ready to answer your questions or to recommend the best tire for you. Slicks or DOT, M&H Tires has it all. M&H were the first to create racing tires for muscle cars and also the first to create racing tires for sport compact cars. Legendary M&H Tires. Shop online, mention the speed scene, and save 5%. Get the best racing tires Great personal service and save 5%. Go to mandhtires.com or call them at 661-324-4773. mandhtires.com. Serve to defend our great country and our freedom. All of us here in the United States of America would like to offer our sincere appreciation for all that you do and all that you've done. To every family that has made a sacrifice for us, we thank you. Welcome back to Speed Scene Live TV. 
with your hosts, Diana Mike, Bruce Barker, Scott Lucky Hudson, The Off-Road Report with Bryant Layton, and The Great American Auto Scene with Bob Beck. Welcome back to the show. This is Lucky with Bruce, Diana Mike, Hot Rod Bob, and Brett Wagner. And uh, tonight, Bryant Layton will not be on with the PRP Seats and Belts Off-Road Report. But you stay tuned. He'll be back with a great one what? last week. Where is he? Well, he's out somewhere. Last week at Brian Busby, Desert Assassins. Great, great guest, and we hope to have him in. Man, there's so much stuff I wanted to talk to him about. Well, it. As well. Bruce would say, uh, Brian's on location. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> on, <laughs> yeah, on location, <laughs> on assignment. He'll be back yes. next week right here in Stu. Well, not in studio. You get the idea. They yeah. left him at mile marker 14. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember, we're asking people to flood the website, and it is right there. S- I got to go backwards here. Well, you see, you got the idea. Uh, yeah. SpeedTV.com slash feedback. Thank you, Diana Might. Your hands are magical. She's good. It is. Wow. Hello. I got a couple other tricks I'd like to try with those hands later. <laughs> hey, uh, go to that website, fill out a feedback, do it a couple times, let people know that you want more pastime because they're, they're, they're running reruns. And I'm, I getting, watch, I'm getting tired of them. I watch them mm. all the time, but you know, I'd kind of like to see new ones. I would too, especially when you know what's going to happen. Well, you know what? The best, the you best. Know? You know, it's we've gotten better mm-hmm. as we uh, from the first time we shot when it was called "Name That Test and Tune." Ooh. Oof. You know, I mean, that was just the worst name. But you know, we got it on the air, and then I believe Bob Eckert, our one of our bosses at Speed Channel, said. Name that test and tune. Let's call it pastime. And thank goodness for him. How you doing, Bob? <laughs> That's How you doing? How you doing, Bob? Yeah, I want to do it again. Um, but, um, you know, Speed Channel is is a good network to work for. Um, I got no complaints. If we never, ever shot any more pastimes, I've had a great time. But there's still a market there for it. I know we still get yeah. good ratings. And uh, I think they're just, they had a shake up over at Speed and the uh, up in the higher offices and, um so it, it just takes time for the new bosses to look back and go, all right, do we really want to, you know, our show's not expensive to shoot, but it's it's obviously not that cheap either. But uh, it all has to do about ratings and money, and it's a business, you know. As much as we have fun, it's still a business. Well, it's cheaper than that Pink's All Out show, oh, yeah. which was <coughs> a, a huge, huge hit. Yep. And uh, they don't do that anymore, and people still want sure. And they still the talk about Sure. Things. Well, I mean, look, at there was a half a million dollars. I mean, I believe, and I'm, I may be talking out of my keister, but uh, I believe it was a ha- I have gas, Bob. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. But oh, it's, uh, it was, I believe, half a million dollars to shoot. You've been to them, right? You, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, it, it was a circus. There they was bring, so many cameras. bring in buildings and create a compound. Yes. Wow. And they bring in catered food. And, you know, it's just amazing. So many people were on that payroll. They must have had over 100 employees. Wow. Easy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was like 35 cameras. 36 I cameras. Out what they needed so many people. You know, there were so many people that they had people to watch the people, people. that were watching the people. Yeah, yeah. but, uh, but you know, uh, let's let's face it. Speed <laughs> Channel brought back drag racing, yeah. bottom line. Yep, yep. They brought it to the fore. When I was a kid, drag racing was on TV every weekend. It just was. When I was a kid, or my dad would take me to the Winter Nationals, and I'm 44 years old, so we're talking, you know, back in the... Long in the late ago. 70s and the early 80s, it was on TV, and then it kind of died, and, and and Speed brought back Pinks, and Pinks got, I mean, brought on Pinks, yeah. and Pinks got popular, and then drag racing, thank goodness, you know, picked up a, a nice uh, bunch of fans again, and people wanting to go drag race, and it, it brought it back to the forefront, so... You know, the influence that Pinks had, we see every week at Irwindale. Okay, there you Everyone go. Everyone tries to stage at the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, in case you're wondering, this is some shots that you bred up at the Bakersfield March meet, uh, signing autographs at the, and the Curry booth right? at the Curry yeah, booth, yeah. Right. And people were coming by, and they're it was so funny because they'd walk by and then they'd do like a double take, and, and really they'd easier. come up to me and say. Huh. Is, is that that bad. guy from Pastime? Well, they, th- they oh. thought I was uh, uh, Mikey Tuttle from Orange <laughs> County Choppers. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept that to saying I'm better looking and I'm not as now. wealthy. Yeah. 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 So. They yeah. said he doesn't seem that stupid out here. <laughs> 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 we had a good time. You know, you got some great sponsors there. And every time I go to a race and they're there, they're always offering me a, a, a ice cold, uh, tasty beverage. And that's a, right. A chair. Yeah, well, you can't right. beat that when you're yeah. a 300 pound guy. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And shade. And shade. shade. Now, we're going to. Brett, you ever go out to Lake Havasu, you know, out in that area? I, I know you guys, because I was on your website, and I know you've been plugging this, and I am so excited that there is going to be a new track. I love Lake Havasu. Who doesn't go to Lake Havasu? Everybody, if you are born in Southern California, 
you at one point in your life you've been up to Lake Havasu. Am I correct? You're either water skiing or fishing or off roading, or you just go for or the restaurant dr- or you're drunk or the chicks. <laughs> yeah. Or when you're a young guy, you went up to Lake Havasu for the weekend yep. for the girls. You would go boating, wouldn't they? Like get all the yeah. boats in a sure. circle, yeah. maybe yeah. one big party. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then on Monday you go to the hospital for the sunburn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In places that never were burned before. Yeah. Oh wait, was that just me? No. You guys got some exciting news. This is very we exciting. Do. Well, we do. in fact, we've actually got somebody that is a famous drag racer <laughs> who's going to give us the inside scoop on it. And Diana, Mike, could you bring him on, please? Well, let's go to line one and welcome Larry Huff. Larry, welcome to Speed Scene Live. Well, great. I it thrilled to be here. They were talking with Lucky Mitchell about having a famous drag racer. I thought somebody preempted me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're we're going way back. You know, you've got a lot of history in drag racing, and you know, Larry. I, I could do a whole show on that, but I'm not. But I, I want to mention it because I like the fact that there's a drag racer in charge of the helm of a drag strip. Hmm, what a great idea. Yeah, concept, <laughs> novelty. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, thanks a lot. Great, thanks for letting me be on the show. I tell you, yeah, we're so excited. Lake Havasu, uh, as, as, as Brett said, is a great place for the London Bridge and girls. And yeah. now it's going to be a great place for drag racing. And we're just uh, thrilled and excited. It's the London Bridge Raceway Park. We hope to break ground on November 3rd and 4th weekend. That's the weekend of the street drags. Uh, We're actually having the city is closing off the town, and we're going to have street drags on November 3rd and 4th. Uh, here in Lake Havasu. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, now, wow. what everyone wants to know, and, and we'll let everyone know right away that the city council voted unanimously to approve this project, correct? Oh, man, and I'll tell you, it's so wonderful working uh, with an administration like that. In fact, I had the, a group here from NHRA here over the weekend, and they met with the city uh, council yesterday for their latest report on everything, and it, it was so, it's so exciting to have a city that actually is behind you and is looking forward to the racers coming here to town and adding uh, to the great culture that's a really a motor culture here in uh, Havasu. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, I, 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 I'm sorry, Diana. You know, it, you know, it's so nice when an administration actually is doing something for the people. They, you know, yeah. this is something that's going to bring so much to the city. It's going to bring so much to the hotels and the restaurants and so forth. And you know, all the people there in Havasu that have cars, all the people that want to come and bring their cars. It's so nice to have an administration that's behind you instead of against you. Yeah. Oh man, I'll tell you, it's, I just I wake up every day and I think I'm in a dream. I pinch myself every time I have a chance to speak to the mayor or anybody in the council, but. I want to tell you real quick, we got some exciting things that that's, uh, just come about. We're going to have an annex to the NHRA Museum here in town. What? That's a museum for the Havasu uh, yeah. uh, uh-huh. hot rodders to be able to show and display the material. But the, the, the track itself is going to be very innovative. It's going to be the first 1,000-foot purpose-built raceway. We're going to have a long, elevated shutoff area, so it's going to be very safe. All cement, the whole place. Mm. It's wow. going to be a c- uh, pavement, uh, cement, all the uh, the drag strip return. The whole thing is pavement. Mm-hmm. We're going to have uh, six garages for pro teams. We expect the pro teams to make this their winter headquarters. And mm-hmm. one thing I've got to tell you, being a, a, a racer for the best part of my life, we've learned that the most important thing to an internal combustion motor is air. Yeah. And we have got the best air. We have got like Long Beach, like Lions Drag Strip on their best night every night of the week in the winter. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, nice. Now, Your now it, be great. In the winter, it gets a little toasty in the summer, I hear. Well, it's only outside, though. Well, there you go. There you go. That's a great point. Is the truck going to be air conditioned? But, but that means you've got the whole rest of the year with great weather and uh, being out in Lake Havasu, you don't get a lot of rain out there, so your events don't get rained out, and you get the good air, and it's a great place to go in the winter and, and uh, run your cars. Yeah, we, we expect it to be the fastest racetrack in the world right when we open it. Mm-hmm. Uh, as they said, it's going to be the first 1,000-foot track. We've got a special software program that has been tested, and NHRA, might, you might not know this, they've been taking 1,000-foot times on all classes for almost 20 years. So we're going to be able to do bracket racing there, and that we're going to display your 1,000-foot times and also display your estimated quarter-mile speed 
need an ET, and the software will get it within a hundredth of a second of uh, accuracy. Wow. Larry, Larry um, we were talking about the difference in temperature between summer and winter and so forth. Um, is this going to be a track that they're going to have lights on so you can race at night? Oh, yes. Okay, absolutely. great. Absolutely. Uh, right. We're going to be, uh, uh, most of it, even in the winter here, as people don't know, it's, uh-huh. it's really tropical, except we don't have the humidity. But, yeah, it's uh, it very seldom gets uh, much below uh, 50 degrees at night, mm-hmm. and in the days at 70 in the best part. So we're going to run from October uh, through May, and we'll be doing a number of night races. Uh, uh, and then during uh, January and a little bit of February, we'll do some uh, day events, uh, mm-hmm. maybe some nostalgia, uh, or they say heritage national events we have on tap. And maybe right. someday, if every, all the gods line up right, we might even get a real national event. We're, right. we're preparing. We're going to have... Uh, nearly 8,000 parking places. We're oh. going to have a uh, seating, uh, permanent seating uh, for over 10,000. So we're, we're, we're uh, uh, building a Class A track that hopefully someday will qualify for a national event. Um, Larry, real, real quick question. Why a 1,000 foot? <laughs> well, I get asked that a lot. Mm-hmm. We feel the future of racing is going to be a 1,000 feet. And uh, uh, it, uh, it, it, we, uh, being that I did race the pro categories for years, the shutoff mm-hmm. areas have become so difficult that, and the last 300 feet of, uh, a quarter mile race is a very dangerous period. And the, the velocity that these cars is not just the speed. Everybody thinks, well, they, they slowed the fuel cars down. Well, you know, the fuel cars now are going, yeah. funny cars and top fuel are going 330 again. It's not the yeah. speed. Yeah. It's this, it's the velocity that's a danger, and we think that eventually it's all going to be a thousand uh, feet, and we're just going to be uh, the first in the world with that track. You know, and you're pretty good at telling us that because you drove some wild cars in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Snoopy was. I mean, you 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 drove a full bodied car in to, and qualified in top fuel with an alter. Yeah, we had a we had a fuel altered pure hell, and we ran the nostalgia top fuel for almost eight years, and and uh, it was quite an experience. I actually survived it, which was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I hear that with the alters, it's not the speed that's the issue; it's the sudden stop at the end that's a problem. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Well, hey, Larry, I mean, that's exciting, and if uh, if I can help you out, you holler at me, just get a hold of Lucky. I'd love to come down and support the track yeah. somehow, so. Absolutely. We're going to have some tremendous sportsman races here. We've got uh, a number of people we're talking to. The NHRA group was here, and we've got big plans, and we certainly appreciate your show. Uh, guys, and I mean, it's it's just great to be on here. I want to give a shout out to Brett. I hope everything goes well. We just love that show, Brett. And, well, and by the way, thanks, my buddy. girlfriend wants to know if you lost some weight. Uh, I did lose some weight. I have been losing weight. That's what happens when you're diabetic and you eat chili hamburgers. Eventually, <laughs> your body turns on you. No, but I've been, uh, yeah, I've been. I got a fiance now, so I have to walk four or five days a week. So she's making well, you she take care of yourself. She says that you're looking real good. Oh, well, tell her thank yeah, you. And you yeah. know, I know these guys. I mean, it's possible, just possible that you never know. You if you put the right amount of uh, gratitude in someone's pocket, the speed scene nationals. You never know. Yeah, oh. that's all. Absolutely, that well, sounds great to me. Now, Larry, I want to mention because you were talking about we talked about the city council and how they're all supportive, and you talked about all the support you're getting. I want to mention a lady, a uh, local politician by the name of Nancy McLean, and Nancy has uh, she's termed out. She's been an Arizona state representative. She served great eight years out there. Uh, or, or great eight great years as a uh, representative, but right nut, now yeah. she is running for state senator, wow. and she is a supporter of the Lake Havasu drag strip. She supports motorsports, and she's also a supporter of the Second Amendment rights. So, yeah. you know, yeah. Nancy McLean is a great person to be kind of behind the track, and hopefully, the voters will vote her in as a senator, and then you'll have a senator. That a state senator that is supporting the uh, Lake Havasu drag strip. Well, absolutely, and we know Nancy, and we appreciate uh, what she's done and what she's going to do. We're confident she's going to be voted in, and uh, we have a huge membership number. And we're certainly, even though we're a non-political, of course, but of course, of course, we're, we're certainly going to be behind her. Sure, you know, you can be non-political, but you know what. <laughs> 
<laughs> we kind of say what we want off the cuff, and you know, we we really we're we're behind Nancy, and we're telling all the people out there go vote for Nancy. Come, what is it, November? Lucky? Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. I think so. Larry, thanks a lot. Keep um, you it. Know, real quick, Larry, before we go, are there like any sponsors that you've got set up for the track yet that you want to send a special thanks out to or oh, anything God, like that? Yeah. There's so many people that have helped us locally here. The Big Old Tire Store, the Sandbar Restaurant, Car Quest. I can't. Uh, there's way too many. Mm-hmm. And I just want to tell you, I hope to, and I, I made a promise that a friend of mine who's a big fan of the uh, uh, Speed Team show that uh, live that when we we have we're going to have a big announcement before groundbreaking mm-hmm. on a major sponsor for this whole motorplex facility including the NHRA museum oh. and I have committed to him uh, that I'm going to announce it first on your uh, show. Oh, wow, right. that would be great. We would be honored, Larry. Honored. <laughs> And well, I appreciate the time, guys, and you keep the good work up, and I really, really enjoy it. it gives all of us old guys something to do on a Tuesday night. You know yeah. what? Get that track going. We'll come oh, out yeah. and race it. Okay, the Speed Scene Nationals. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Now, I hope, I hope when he opens up that track, the first time, I want to sit those Curry Novas oh, right yeah. there on the start yeah. line. And uh, maybe we'll get Brett to flip the switch and, and head us on down the oh, track. that would be a I'm, I'm, all, I'm good. I'm down for that. Or maybe yeah. we can get Speed Channel to go out there and film a pastime TV there show at On the, the inaugural first 1,000 oh, wow. foot track. That That'd would be, awesome. be huge. Wow. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, you don't suppose that friend he was talking about is Dan? <laughs> you never Our know. dear friend. You never know. <laughs> Dan and Karen, thank you. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, we've got a few minutes left, so we're going to do what's going on. And, and Bob has some info about yep. an event. And uh, before we do it, I just want to ask Brett, you know, you're a busy guy. Uh, I think you mentioned somewhere off the cuff that you might be heading out to Sturgis pretty soon for a personal appearance. Yeah, going to Sturgis August 2nd through the 12th. Be working at the Sturgis Saloon Company's main stage, well, the big stage. So mm-hmm. I'll be I'll be announcing people like, you know, Foghat. Come on. Oh, cool oh, for the city. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. See that? I knew yeah. that was going to perk yeah. up right yeah. there. Yeah. And, the wet, and the wet t-shirt contest. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh. I don't know He's if we got have. a fiancé now, Bob. She's not just, everybody's single these days. He's not. He's just announcing it. <laughs> <laughs> She's. A, uh, yeah. No. No. I just. Uh, no, I'm very yep. lucky. You yeah, know. but he uses the Braille method. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> what, what's your name, baby? Yeah. But you I can't pour it. the water and hold the mic at the same no. time. I, I'm very lucky to be doing that. And like I said, got uh, some meetings, uh, some pitch meetings to sell a couple TV shows, and always uh, happy to be. Uh, Working on stuff with Stephen Poland, so hopefully we got something mm-hmm. going on shortly. And uh, good. Well, and we, there we go. We, we love having you on the show, but you know what? We even love more. We love watching you on TV. Well, so I appreciate we, it. We're pulling. We're pulling for you. That's right. Thank you. Pulling you know for what? <laughs> that something's going to turn up, and you know we're going to see more of those pastimes. So everybody, go to that website, log on, put it in comments, bring back some more new pastime shows. You could even write in there we. We need more Brett Wagner. Yeah. Wow. Well, there's a lot we of Brett Wagner to go around. Like he said, he's a 300 pound man. <laughs> That's a hunk of hunk of. <laughs> Why is Bruce laughing? <laughs> no, there's no giggling when she says he's a 300 pound man. There, you're not supposed to giggle. I don't know. Yeah. I just wanted to bust yeah. into an Elvis thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was an uncomfortable a laugh. Hunk of hunk of burning he, love. He, he was afraid you were going to start swinging those big rings. No, around. no, I don't swing. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> He was he was getting ready to duck. Not that way, Lucky. <laughs> now, uh, uh, Bob. Yep. Uh, real quick, we've only got a couple minutes, but tell us a little bit about uh, this event that you're involved with. Well, Lug Nuts is putting on a special thing for kids with cancer. It's going to be at K1 Speed in Irvine, California, Friday night, July 27th, from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Four laps, and it's going to be a great racing time. The money, the part of the proceeds, going to kids with cancer. And if you'd like more information, go on to K1 Speed Irvine location for their location or check out Lug Nuts page or my page on Facebook go for gas and we'll give you the information on how to become part of it and I've given a donation of $20 and anyone else who can match that send me a copy of your PayPal receipt or how you do it and I'll send you a perfect light pin like I give out at Irwindale on Thursday nights sweet nice nice, nice. okay 
And uh, we got a lot going on. Tune in next week. There's a lot more information. We're going to be talking about the NMCA West event. Brett, we mentioned that to you. NMCA West will be at Pomona August 17th through the 19th. So maybe, Sounds awesome. Maybe you'll come on down. Yeah, maybe Bob, as long as Bob don't get mad and angry at me being down there, I'm <laughs> no, all right. No, he won't get mad at you. For all of you out there, you haven't went online and signed up for that NMCA race in Pomona, California. Get your buns on your computer. Come to that race. Don't think that it's sold out yet because it's not, but hurry up before it does. Is getting your buns on the computer anything like getting your buns on the photocopy? Here? Is that something totally uh, different? You know, a little kinky, but uh, you know, however you can do it, go for it. <laughs> Office shenanigans. Well, why not? Are you talking about color prints or black and white? Ah! <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> and come on down to the vendor area. The uh, curry speed scene live booth will be set up in the vendor area. Come on down, get free curry and speed scene live stickers. Meet Diana Might. If you ask her real nice, she'll even put the stickers on your car herself. Slowly. Wow. Slowly. Nice. <laughs> nice. Because you know, I say on TV, a lot of stickers on your car yeah. means you got a fast car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you must go. be fast. Must that's right. right. Well, they say that Speed Scene Live sticker gives you a tenth. Good for it, yeah. Every tenth, well, you know what I say. Yeah. <laughs> it all counts. <laughs> What's that copy here? <laughs> well, Diana, Mike, Bruce, great job. Hot Rod Bob, yep. always a pleasure. Brett, it's been too long since you've been on the show. We really enjoyed having you. Uh, as always, you're always a great guest on the show. Thanks, man. This is nice to be had. I, it's, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what happens next. It's the encore presentation of the show. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We're going to see just about everybody back here next week. And uh, I hopefully we'll see you next week right where you are or maybe even someplace better. Hey, if you win the lottery this week, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. That's real, real good better. All right. Talk to you next week. Thanks for joining us right here at Speed Scene Live. Speed Scene Live TV, the number one online motorsports TV show. Brought to you by Curry Racing Rear Ends, M&H Tires, and TheFolk.com. 